Hey guys, this is um Pastor Green, and I'm just sharing this little um video with you today. We've been talking about trying to develop our whys and trying to come up with a uh, mind a uh, mind mapping process. So what I thought I would do with would uh was to just kind of show you how this process worked. I know you can actually go on YouTube and you can find out how do you create a mind map. You can there are videos out there, but I figured I would just uh kind of share with you what I've done. It's not complete. You know there's quite a bit on here. There's still a whole lot of other things that that could be done here to make this this uh, map more uh, concise, oh, not concise, but more uh, broken down into more um, pieces. Okay, so what I did was I started with uh, this inner circle piece right here, and I called it Janet. All right, and from that, all of these other things, and uh, and on this particular map, the only thing you're going to see is my business and um, ministry okay the business to the side as you can see and everything that I have, that I do or a lot of the things I still as I said it's not complete but a lot of the things that I do in business and things that I do to make my business work and then this side is um, my um, ministry uh, things that I do uh, and also those that are future things that I'm going to uh, be doing so I'm just doing a brain dump and doing a um, you know, just trying to get everything out to to give myself a picture of where I'm trying to go in the coming year. So now, with that being said, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this out. I'm going to and come back and start with a fresh page just to show you how easy this is. Now, this particular website is not the one that I put on the Alliance of Kingdom Entrepreneurs page. It is the um, this is called Mind Mup dot com and um I don't know that you can see it. Uh you can't see it because I don't have it in view, but it's M I N D M U P dot com. Uh and so um you can go there and, and use this particular piece of uh online software to um you know start your mind maps. This is really huge and as I started kind of doing this brain dump I realized this is really, really good to give me a good click picture of where I'm trying to go. So let me try to clear this out. I'm going to pause this for a moment and try to clear this screen and start fresh so that you can get an idea how to make this happen. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm back and that was really easy. There's a there's a file button up at the top that says file new and uh, um so uh just I just clicked on file new and um started a fresh map. So I'm gonna show you how to get this done. First of all, you just double click in this blue spot right here, and I hope you can see where my corner is. Double click in that spot and call it your, um, you know, call it yourself, whatever. Um, or if you have a particular, um, if you just want to do the mind map for your business, you can do it just for your business. I did it for my life first, and then I'm going to, uh, for those two pieces of my life, and then I'll probably just go back because it looks like those legs are going to be really thick. and a lot of going on. I probably would just go back and put each portion in a different map uh, on its own. So um, let's just say uh, my business, all right, my business, since you all are entrepreneurs. Um, and I type in there and I just hit enter. It's really easy to go through this. Now, when I want to go and add a leg to this, I make sure that this part, the, the, the part that I want the leg to extend from, that it's selected, okay? Um, so if I clicked in there it's and I see the little lines around it, I know that it's selected. So then I go over here, and these little things tell you what you're going to do. I haven't figured out the subtree yet, but it's not important for us right here. But this button right here that says Add Child, that's important for getting you started. So once that is selected, it said in order to add a child, you just click Tab. So you hit the Tab key, and you get a leg, right? So um, let's just say your business is um, Mary Kay, all right? Let's say Mary Kay. Uh, I think that's how you spell it. All right, so now in your Mary Kay business what is it that you, what are the goals that you have for your Mary Kay, your Mary Kay business? And, uh, well, let's, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's not do that because uh, I want to show you how Mary Kay will fit somewhere else. Let's do this. Let's say, um, 
online marketing. Because this way I can give you some legs to add to this. I'm just doing this on the fly. And so now it's selected. Now online marketing. Now go over here with that selected and I I know again this button right here says tab. I can either hit that or I can just hit the tab key and I just choose to hit the tab key. So if I'm doing online marketing, uh, maybe I'm doing affiliate marketing. Okay, maybe I'm doing affiliate marketing. So then that's the first leg of my online marketing. Now, if uh, if I have a second online marketing, then uh, say I'm doing um, network marketing now online. So I would go back to online marketing, hit that tab, hit the tab. Now it gives me another leg. So now I can say network marketing. Okay. All right, you just hit enter. Um, if I'm doing um, video marketing, I can do the same thing for video marketing. So, uh, but let's just take these two things. So, what is it that I need to do to uh, make this online marketing thing um, grow for me or make make money? Well, very first thing I need to do is I need to have a product, right? So I'm going to hit a tab and um, my product. I don't know what that product may be. It could be gels and lotions. It could be vitamins. It could be uh, weight loss. It could be absolutely anything. Okay. All right. So that's my so my network marketing. I'm gonna go back here. Network marketing. What is the name of your company? We'll say that it is Mary Kay. All right. Mary Kay. Now, I'm, I'm hoping that you're getting the, the gist of this now. Uh, now that I know my business is Mary Kay, what is it in Mary Kay that is important for me? And listen, let me show you this. See, the, the uh, it's going far to the right, so you can click in here, left click in here, and you can drag your map, your map, which however you want to drag drag this map around the, the page. Okay. Um, so now, um, Mary Kay, what what is what's important what's in Mary Kay that I deal with every day uh, maybe I want to learn how to do or part of what I do with Mary Kay is facials okay then I'm gonna say facials hit enter uh, if I hold that and drag it you see that change how that looks but I don't want to change how that looks what else in Mary Kay is important for um, Mary Kay I don't know I'm just I'm just guessing um, 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 other kind of skin care, not just your face, but your hands. I know they have this this great product called Satin Hands, and so I would say skin care. And with skin care, I might say uh, one of those products is um, Satin Hands, right? So I would say Satin Hands. So basically, all I'm doing is connecting the pieces to um these particular ideas that I have, the things that are important for these ideas, I'm just connecting the dots for them and I'm going to build that out even more. Now on this side, on this side of my business, let's see if this will work. Um, I'm going to hit another tab. It takes it out this way and so on this side, I could, decide, I could decide, well, I'm going to put all of my marketing strategies on this side. All right? All of my marketing strategies. And put that on my on this side. What are some marketing strategies? It's selected. I hit tab again. What are some marketing strategies? Well, I can do social media marketing. Okay, I can do social media marketing. Um, uh, some other kind of marketing strategies. I can do uh, some page strategies. All right. Yes. Okay. I can do some page strategies. What are some social media strategies? Well, I'm going to click on social media, and some social media strategies would be Facebook. Uh, another social media strategy might be Twitter. Another social media strategy uh, might be um, hit the tab. Each time I'm selecting it, I'm just hitting the tab. YouTube. Might maybe you're a YouTube kind of person and you like to do video marketing. You see what I'm saying? Just simple little things that 
help to build this map out. Some paid strategies may be something like um, solo ads. Uh, maybe um, see the, the top part up here. These are free strategies. These are all social media free strategies. But Facebook has uh, what is called sponsored posts. You can pay about five dollars, five up to ten or fifteen dollars, and you can get a post that you think is going to drive some traffic to your uh, particular capture page or your product, and um, pay Facebook for some strategy and give you some more exposure beyond your your friends list and buy a sponsored post. Okay, so that's just the gist of how this mind mapping thing. Uh, should work for you and so again you can do a business at a time a an assignment a mission at a time you can do your life uh, and include your children your husband uh, your extended family you can just do a whole lot of things with this and it just gives you uh, a good bird's eye view of what it is you want to get done and then you can start getting really specific like with these paid ads, you can get really specific with, I'm going to spend $5 a day or my budget. You can include your budget on these. I'm going to spend $50 a month on solo ads. You just break it down and be as thorough with this as, as possible. Okay, I need to stop this so that um, uh, this doesn't get too long. But listen, that, that, uh, that website address, again, is M-I-N-D. M-U-P dot com. And uh, this is really, really easy. So I hope that this will help you and I'm uh, you will be seeing this posted on the Facebook page. Okay. Have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye.